Okay, so I figured I'd make a quick video on how to format a USB drive in two obsolete file formats, FAT16 and FAT12, which isn't supported by Windows anymore, so what you have to do... I have my Kubuntu Linux machine pulled up here. You can actually format it in FAT16 and FAT12 in Linux. So once you have your USB drive plugged into your USB port, you're going to come over here and search for the KDE Partition Manager. I usually just type in Partition. And we're going to open that up. Since we're making changes to a disk, we have to type in our administrative password. And as you can see on the left hand side here, this is our USB stick. By default, it's FAT32, so we're going to delete that partition. Mine is already unmounted. But if you don't have these options up here, there should be an unmount option. You're going to click that first. It'll freeze for a second, and you should be able to delete the partition. So we're going to go ahead and click the delete button. It comes up as unknown. We're going to right click on that, click new, and it gives you a whole bunch of different options, way more than what Windows does. So we're going to try FAT16 first. I'll just call it FAT16 and click OK. The maximum partition size for FAT16 is 4 gigabytes, so that's why I defaulted to that. We're also going to make a FAT12 partition, so we're going to do the same thing to this new 10 gigabyte empty partition. So we're going to right click on that, click New, and we're going to click FAT12. And we'll call it FAT12 and click OK. So the maximum file size for FAT12 or partition size is 255 megabytes so that's why that showed up like that and we still have a 10 gigabyte unallocated but we'll leave it like that just for an example sake so we'll go up here and click apply to actually write the changes to the USB drive and yes we're sure we want to do it it should only take a few seconds and as you can see in the bottom right it's kind of freaking out a little bit but that just means it's working. It looks like it's done, so we'll click OK. And yep, it looks like we're good to go. That should be about it. Thanks for watching.